Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today, I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily download and install of Geo server. All of those things I will try to discuss. So after doing this, I hope you can easily install the Geo server as well as also work with the Geo server installation. So first of all, you can simply go to the Google and simply search there geo server download simply search on the google here you can see the geo server download click on here and here you can see the documentation further here you can see the user manual so just I simply click on here from here you can see the installation okay geo server for your platform simply click on the installation and here i can get all of those process for installation first of all here you can see so in this time you simply select your uh windows or linux or web archive i want to choose here windows binary and here you can see you have to uh warning your server required for the java 11 or java 17 environment to install it in your system okay so in this time simply you can choose anyone suppose i just simply select and download this java from here you can see so simply download the latest uh release version simply click on here it will be downloaded okay and i already downloaded this file this is the file after downloading you just simply uh normally you can simply install this file okay so i already installed this file so in this time i not dis uh, destroy you that again and after doing these things you can simply click on that uh windows binary and here you can see all of those things one by one so you can see make sure you have a java runtime environment installed on your system and for that you can simply click on here and install it these things so basically this is same windows you can see the same windows simply download this file and install it the java after doing this you just simply click on here you can see the navigate to the geo server download page simply click on here and you can see now it will be open just navigate so further you can simply click on here you can see the geo server so now you can see here the platform independent binary so just simply click on here so now you can see it will be start the downloading this file automatically downloaded this process after downloading this file you just simply install it so now i will show you that how we can install it i already download this file so after downloading you can see this file already downloaded it's a mainly zip file so this zip file you just simply uh, unzip it simply unzip and then after unzipping that you can simply uh, go to this file so just i simply find out this file unzip folder so you can see this is your server this file i simply unzip uh, from here i just simply uh, rename it suppose i just simply rename it as a suppose i put this as a geo server only put this name geo server and now i simply go to this my search option and here search here system properties i simply search or you can simply find it from here suppose i simply search here system view advanced system setting so here you can see I can get this type of things. I simply click on the environment variable. Click on here. And now I want to make the sum environment. Success. For that, click on the new environment. Here you can see the new. So simply click on the new environment. Okay. So in this time, I create the environment for the geo server. So put here the geo server. And then uh, simply put the geo server your mainly it's mainly your uh, directory. Okay. Your link directory. You can easily get it from here okay so in this time i just simply uh copy these things and then make a new make a new folder suppose i make a folder okay new folder suppose i put the folder name is web mapping or you can put any name web mapping and this folder i just simply uh store it this geo server so now from here I just simply click on the geo server file so simply copy this directory from here simply copy and then paste here 
okay directly to the okay after that i also create the another file so for that simply click on the new again in this time i create the directory file so here you can see the directory data directory click on here simply copy this uh, url and then paste here this variable value and in this time i have to use here the data directory here you can see they are already provide the name you can see you have to select this name so mainly you have to select this name is that uh, your data directory zero server data directory so simply click on here zero server data directory copy this name and use the same name it's just put the same name then okay and further also click to the okay and also okay so now it create this environment so now let's check about your geo server it will be work or not so for doing these things you can simply go to your azure server file here you can see the bin folder click on the bin folder here you can see the start up so double click so now in this time here you can see uh, it will be automatically generate the geo server from here it working or okay just very simply from here okay i already installed these things in my c drive so that's in this time not work okay but you have to uh, follow the same process so in this time I simply click on the bin from the c folder and then click on here okay so now i can see it automatically install it this uh, and start the geo server will be working So now you can see it show the stage that it started so you can simply go to your browser and then simply search at the local host local host uh, 8080 uh, geo server simply go to this link so now it automatically uh, open the local geo server home page here you can see and first time you have to log in so it's the default uh, username and password is that uh, username is the admin and default uh, password is the geo server so you can simply put here the geo server and then further login so in this time you can see it will be access our geo server in local host so further we are easily work for the different types of web mapping and data visualization so further i also try to show you that other process how we can easily make this map how we can easily add the layer so all of those details we try to show in this uh, tutorial for the geo server so i hope after completing this full tutorial you can easily learn all of those things about the geo server and easily making the different types of web application or web gis mapping you can easily do it so for the tutorial let's try to discuss about the more topic about this geo server so just you keep in touch with this youtube channel and in the meantime if you want to join my live training session uh, on mainly it's a google earth engine online live training session you can easily join with me this class will be start from the 10th february and now this registration is the open basically we take the class for friday and saturday in a week class duration three hours is day and you can easily contact with this whatsapp number and so call contact contacts with this email and basically this online training program we are focusing for the beginners who don't have any knowledge about the google earth engine or who don't have any knowledge about the programming or coding so basically the totally beginners if you have any uh, if you have no knowledge about the google earth engine or coding don't worry about that you can easily learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level on google earth engine and easily get the any kind of analysis and in this time i already added all of those things in the video description you can simply check it all of those things from the video description and it's very important for the benefit after uh, completing all the state you can easily get the course e certificate you can get the all of these materials mainly slide pdf you can get the practice code you can get the recorded class if you miss any live class you can easily cover using the recorded uh, class and it's very important for that lifetime teaching support 
So as a beginner, so anyone to learn the Google Earth Engine platform, you face a lot of problem. So that's why we are also providing the lifetime teaching support. So that's why when you face any problem regarding any issues in your code, you can easily join and you can get the solution. So it's the continuously learning process. So that's why you will also get the lifetime teaching support for any help you can easily get freely. So if you want to join this online training program, you can simply contact in this WhatsApp number and also contact with this email. Then simply book your seat and then join your Google Classroom and also join your WhatsApp group. So today is no more. If you want to simply contact with me. Thank you for asking that.